Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorial. And this is I'll be showing you guys how to build my secret room behind a bookcase version two. Now I did want to get this out before the quick fix for the first one. However, a few complications came up and I had to add an extra little piston to fix it and whatever. <laughs> so as you can see, we're in a nice little room here. We have a TV, a, a plot, a, yeah, plot, <laughs> a potted plant and a couch. There is no buttons around here. We just got our nice little bookcase. Obviously that's where our secret room is. So if I add water over here to this cauldron, it will open up my secret bookcase now i am not showing how to open this it i mean build yeah open this i'm not going to show how to build this right here it's a very easy thing to do and it's very annoying it's trust me it's not good at all it's kind of cool that it does this but it's still very annoying to use so we could just walk inside our secret room click this button and it'll close our bookcase behind us and then inside our secret room right here we have a chest with some redstone and a little manual on how to build secret room so let's take that because we're going to need that to build this no we don't need that at all and i don't know why i did that I was just kind of bored and wanted to do something with it <laughs> so if we click that button we can come on out of our secret room and i'm just going to click the button in here to close it because like i said this is very annoying to use <laughs> so let's just start building this thing guys it's actually very easy and over here is just a little this is a little add-on i had to add on to this thing for it to work now the redstone it's very easy guys as you can see in here it's not much at all for what it does all right guys so for this build we're going to need a four by five spacing we're also gonna have to dig down three however we do need to dig down four in just a few areas so make sure you have enough room to dig down four and then that little area right there is just a little add-on I had to use to actually make this door work <laughs> so for this build we're going to need 12 sticky pistons one regular piston seven redstone repeaters one redstone comparator six redstone torches 13 redstone dust one block of redstone two buttons one lever well the lever's just there to test things out you don't actually need the lever in the end and we're also going to need one cauldron one bucket of water four bookshelves some blocks to put our redstone down on and then some blocks of choice for our door now this is just for the door itself guys this is not for the buttons or the inputs this is just for the door itself when we get to the inputs and stuff like that you're going to need more more regular pistons and things like that all right guys to start things off we're going to be doing the green circuit this circuit will control our double piston extender and our normal piston extender for our bookshelf so once you got your five your four by five spacing and you've dug down your three come to the bottom right hand corner right here and just count up three blocks so one two three put a block right here with some redstone dust down on it next what i want you to do is put a repeater coming out of that block on four ticks to leg put a block in front of it put a torch on top of the block put a block to the left of the torch put redstone dust on top of this block put a torch coming out the side of the block the torch will go off put redstone dust coming out of this torch then we're going to swing on over here we're going to put a repeater coming out of the dust right here on one tick delay and we're going to put a repeater here coming out of this torch on one tick delay as well next what i want you to do is delete this block right here here and here like that so make a backwards l shape or a j shape and we're going to put two pieces of redstone dust right here and then coming out the side of this dust right here we're going to put a repeater going into this block on four ticks delay now let me just change the colors of these blocks right here there we go next what i want you to do is put a torch on the top of this block delete the block to the left of it and put another torch to the side of it like so next what i want you to do is delete these two blocks and put redstone dust here and here and that would create a monostable circuit next we're going to put a torch right on top of this block and then we're going to swing over here and we're going to put a piece of redstone dust going into the block that has this torch like so now these two are going to connect we do not want this so put a block right here to disconnect them and then you're also going to put another piece of redstone dust on top of this block as well Next, what I want you to do is put a block right above these two, well, yeah, this repeater and this redstone dust, put a block above it, put two torches on top of these blocks, then take out your wall, yours, I mean your flooring block and put your flooring block right above these two torches like that. You will be able to see these. Next, take out your sticky pistons and put two pistons right next to these blocks facing upwards and then put another two facing upwards from here. They should all extend and then take two more sticky pistons and actually put a block right above this torch and then put a sticky piston facing upwards here and a sticky piston facing upwards off this torch right there next take out your bookcases and put them right on top of your sticky pistons now we could test to make sure it works because you should be completely done with the extension so we're going to put a lever right here behind this four tick delay repeater and we're going to flip it down to test it so flip it down it retracts absolutely fine and then flip it up and it extends fine so if yours is not doing this did something wrong and you're going to have to go back now make sure it is extended up like this and what i want you to do is take out your blocks and put a block here 
and put a block right here now those blocks will do absolutely nothing that is just to keep it from updating while you are building and now why i say that is because if you do this um, let me just delete that block real quick and we're going to put it in its uh retracted mode so when it's retracted like this this piston right here is budded at all times so if you put any block next to it it will update this piston so watch if i put a block here boop, it broke it see as you can see now it's broken so if i flip it up this side's broken and th these sides are absolutely fine so the only way to fix this if it's broken like this is to make sure all your pistons are extended up and then go to the one that is broken and delete it and then just put it back in that's the only way to fix it guys so make sure you put those blocks in right here and right there so just in case you accidentally place a block next to it and it updates it next what we're going to do is add our sticky piston and our redstone block this will control everything in our build once we are completely done with it so what you want to do is come over here and where this uh, lever is and the dust is on top of it just put a redstone block right above it it'll make it activate so just put a redstone block it will activate everything well if your lever's down then it won't activate anything but <laughs> next what you want to do is come over two blocks from the left of it so one two delete the middle block and put a sticky piston facing towards the redstone block like this next what you can do is delete this lever down here it's no longer needed there and you can go ahead and put your lever up here so now this will control everything so if i flip down the lever it extends if i flip up the lever it retracts beautiful so now we're going to work on our top pistons so it actually pushes out our bookcases when it extends up because right now it just looks derpy all right guys to start things off with the top part of the build what we're going to need to do is make sure your piston is extended out like this so make sure it looks exactly like that and actually i need to take out my red blocks there we go so make sure it's extended out and what you want to do is right above it we're going to put a sticky piston it will extend up like so put a cauldron on top of your sticky piston and then put water inside the cauldron Next, what we're going to do is swing over here, take out your blocks of choice. You will be able to see these on the inside, so this will be your walling block. And we're going to put a block right next to the sticky piston and put a comparator coming out of your cauldron like that. Next, what you're going to do is put a block right in front of your comparator by doing this and then delete this block because it will get in the way if you don't. And we're going to come out one more and then just make a pretty much make a two by two like that. Next, what we're going to do is we don't need these blocks anymore for now. Let's take out our will. We already have them out. And we're going to come two blocks towards our cauldron. So one, two. So it looks something like that. And then go out this side as well one two so one two next what i want you to do is put redstone dust in front of this comparator bring it down and pretty much make a j shape or a backwards l and put dust over here by the cauldron and put redstone dust on this side as well next take out your repeater and put a repeater going this way on two ticks delay turn this way and put another repeater going into this dust on two ticks delay as well Next, what you need to do is come over here to your lever, flip it up and make sure your bookcases are down in the retracted air, uh, retracted state. Come over here where your cauldron is and put a sticky piston facing towards you from next to that cauldron. And then put a sticky piston facing forwards from the front of your build. And do the same thing on this side, put a sticky piston facing towards you. And then one facing towards the front of your build like that. And you should be completely done guys. So if we flip down this lever, it extends out and our bookcase comes out nicely, beautiful. And then we flip it up, hold it back, and then retracts the bookcases down. So now all we have to do is clean it up and then add our buttons in. So we're actually gonna have to delete this block for now. So just delete it. Oh, you know what? Uh, you know what? Let me get my flooring block out and put that lever back real quick. Cause we, I want to keep the bookcases extended out so it looks nice while we're building it. <laughs> so you can see how it looks. So we're gonna flip this down and make sure it's extended out like that while we're cleaning it up. So take out whatever your blocks of choice are. So there we go. And we're gonna put our walling around it. So go ahead and put, start putting your walling around it like this. There we go. And let's put some more walling down here. Beautiful. And then we're gonna take out our flooring block. We're gonna put some flooring around it as well. There we go. And then on the inside, let's so let's flip it up now. Go on the inside and we're gonna clean it up on in here as well. So come out and then just wrap it around your redstone so you can't see any of the redstone. There we go. And then put the two blocks here and then wrap it this way. There we go. Beautiful. Actually, let me get rid of these. <laughs> this block right here, actually, I need to get rid of. There we go. We need that spot right there. So there we go. And then we can put our flooring in. And we're done. We got our whole area in. Now, before we move on to our buttons, because this is where something's going to change. We have to add a butt over here to update this piston right here if we're going to put buttons in. If you're not putting buttons in and you just want a lever here to activate it and close it, you can go ahead and do that if you really want to. But if you do want buttons, we're going to have to add this little butt switch over here. So what you want to do is come over down here towards the back right where we have these two little blocks that I added on. And we're going to come over here to this off torch. And we're going to just take out a different color. We're going to put a block right above this off torch. Put a block to the side of the off torch with redstone dust on top of it. So let me get out my redstone dust. 
and then right next to this redstone dust we have to put a piston facing upwards so just put a block right here and put a piston facing upwards like this and delete that block so that will update it so now buttons will work for our build that's the only reason for that so let's delete our lever and start doing our button. So let's do the inside button first. Because I usually like putting my button right here. You can obviously change it and put it wherever you want. But if you don't understand inputs and outputs, then just follow along and you can just put your buttons where I put them. So let me take out my buttons and let me take out a different color as well. So where I like to put my button is when you're walking in the front door, well, the front of your secret room, right here to the left where this sticky piston is, we're just going to count over one block and come down a block and put a button right there. Then come underneath your button and put a block right underneath it. So my button's right here and put redstone dust right here. So actually, let me just delete it so you can see it. There's the button and there's the redstone dust. So when I click it, the, the dust comes on. Next, what I want you to do is put a block next to the block right here with redstone dust on top of it. Come down. A let me just delete all this. This is just going to get in the way. Uh, I wish I didn't delete that. Let me just put that like that. There we go. So we know that's our button block. So we're just going to come down a block now and put redstone dust down here. Put a piston facing upwards with a piece of sand on it you can use also a sticky piston in a block but if you're doing this on survival it's way better to use a, a regular piston and some sand like that then coming out of the back side of it let me just get rid of this right here as well coming out of the side over here we're going to put a block and then put a repeater coming out of the sand block that will create a mono stable circuit so now if i click my button over here that sand block should go up and then down real fast so oof, goes up and then down so if yours is not doing that then you did something wrong so let's come back over in here next what you want to do is just take the signal from here and just wrap it this way so just come right along this side over here and then we're going to bring the power over to this sticky piston do not put a block underneath it do, if you put a block underneath it it will wig everything out and break everything so do not do not put a block right here or it will break it <laughs> so put a block to the left of it like that put redstone dust on top of it come a block down and just put a repeater going into this block right here and just bring your redstone dust going all the way down here so now our inside button should be working so if i come over here and come on the inside right here and close it whoo, it closes the door and if i click it again it opens the door beautiful so now let me clean this up because this looks why did i just do that <laughs> i actually don't have my uh blocks out there we go so we're gonna put some oak wood here clean this up make it look nice we need some red wool for over here i mean red stained clay right there and there beautiful all right guys so now that the inside button is done let's go to the outside button now i'm going to be putting mine right here you can obviously change it and make it so it's hidden but mine for now it's just going to go right here i'm going to show you where you can bring the line of dust so you can hide your button wherever you would like to hide it so i'm just going to put the button right here which is going to be two away from the outside so let me just close this real quick as you can see it is two blocks away from our bookcase so come two blocks over and put a button then right here we're going to come down a block so right here I mean, we're not down a block. We're going to come over a block with an upside down half slab. So get out a slab. You can use whatever kind of slab you want. I'm just going to use a stone slab. And we're going to put a slab upside down right here. So we're going to put a slab here and here. And then delete this one. Put a repeater coming out of the block that has the button like this. And then put a block in front of the repeater. And that will be our outside button. So we click it. Open up the door. Click it again. And it closes the yeah, door, the secret, <laughs> the secret room behind a bookcase. So now if you want to change it and put it wherever you want, all you have to do is literally come off this dust right here and you can bring your button. Let's say I wanted to bring my button all the way over here. Like just go like this and put some redstone dust like that. And I want to bring it all the way over here with a block and a button and a boot. There we go. See, opens it and closes it. So there you guys go that is how you build my secret room behind a bookcase version 2 if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace